Hello everyone, today we are using my favorite Pokemon, Charizard. This thing's actually a lot better than I thought it was. And we're going up against its mortal enemy, en en enemy, well, yeah, Venusaur, and this Papanus is wireless, and Dragon Claw, yeah. But these bites, I think it was, it's just chunking through. I mean, it's not the bulkiest, it can't really take a hit for crap. But, eh, we get them low enough where we can just come in with our Quagsire. We can eat a Dark Pulse. We can't eat two, but we can eat a Dark Pulse, so we're good. I go for the Aqua Tail, and Aqua Tail does some pretty nice damage, and I do swap out because I want to farm them down, and we do get the farm down. And now, what? They will have a Galarian Weezing. As I've said before, wait, no, as I've said before, Glaring Weezing is the only good fairy type because it only takes neutral from poison. It's literally the only good fairy type to be using on this meta. I mean, you could run fairy and then double ground. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, like Claude's Air and then a little Ductrio. But um, yeah, we can just shield this because I was kind of fearing the Frenzy plant, but this is just the Sludge Bomb. This is fine, and we can just, yeah, we can just go for Sludge Wave. We do lose CMP, I'm not surprised. Which is crap, but Sludge Bomb barely does anything to us, and we'll just go for the Sludge Wave. And Sludge Wave will definitely take out Venusaur from this range. Anyway, to the next one, Toxapex into Togetic. What is going on with the amazing leads? And um, they're running Hidden Power. They swap out into their own Clouds there, but I kind of want to go for the Brine, you know, maybe grab a shield, do some chip damage, and then swap out into my Clouds there. But I also want them to throw a move because I kind of want the pacing to be sort of identical. Now they will go for Mud Bomb first, and I swap out, but sadly I catch a Mud Bomb on my Clouds there. I was hoping that they just built up to like one and a half or something, um, but we will outpace them to the Aqua Tails. Which is fun, and we will grab a shield with the Aqua Tail. Okay, I mean, cool. And but I will have to shield this mud bomb because I kind of want to switch. I really do want to switch. I found that I use switch a lot in these games, and we will. Ah, they get to a mud bomb annoyingly. Such a, and I, I don't want to expend both shields on this. So ah, oh, they win switch. Dang it. Well, this is this is still okay, and they will have a ferret in the back. So I will swap out to my Charizard because I kind of want to keep Toxapex for that pesky um, Togetic in the back. Because uh, Charizard doesn't really have a very good matchup. And um, I'm going for the Dragon Claw to hopefully grab... Yes, we grab the final shield. That's good. Now, Brick Break. Ah, I've made a video on this thing. It's so freaking annoying because tackles just do so much damage. We will get to another Dragon Claw. I love... Dragon Claw as a fast move, or no, as a bait move, and they, we can see, they throw another one, they literally could have actually just farmed us down, but now we can just completely farm them down, yeah, bye bye, and they've got that Togetic and Sludge Wave, this thing actually eats a Sludge Wave, funny enough, this thing eats a Sludge Wave, like from full health, it can eat a Sludge Wave, which really surprised me, sorry if you can hear some wind, um, recording in a less optimal place and they have a whiz cash in the back and now sadly my opponent kind of lags a bit because they're not throwing their fast move as much as they should be which isn't as good for them well it's good for me but i think i would have lost this game if that so this game is um more luck than skill um because this whiz cash yeah it's annoying whiz cash is very good there's there's um there's common mud boys i guess everybody calls them and mud boys are very good like very good. Now, I will be able to get to another Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail will hopefully, I believe it'll KO. No, it just barely does not. And we get the full farm down. Sadly, my opponent is lagging, which isn't good. And they got their own Quagsire in the back. This isn't bad, but this isn't good. Quagsire shields my Aqua Tail. And I lose him, Pete. Not surprised there. Very high ranking Quagsire. And I do shield them. The Stone Edge, I think that was, right? Uh, I might have been wrong. I wasn't looking. Um, we'll, build, I'll, uh, we'll lose CMP again. Now I'm going to leave this because um, we, are, we have um, more optimal positions and we've got shield advantage. And we've got, yeah. I do come in with my Charizard because they can only be running Mud Bomb and I'm trusting it. Yeah, it's just Mud Bomb. That's still chunks, to be honest. And I'm, I'm so glad 
that they weren't running Stone Age. If they were running Stone Age right there, the game would have been over. And I'm just gonna swap out, but then I lag like crazily. Luckily, I think I get all my fast moves back, but like that, that that's crazy lag. Mud Bomb does some decent damage. I'm gonna try go for the, I do go for the Brian because otherwise I'll get some another Mud Bomb and I kind of don't want that to, because in the back they've yeah they've got quads out. This is this is gonna be difficult. I don't know. This is gonna be difficult. Um, this game it was actually it, it, I'll I'll show you. It's a, it was a very surprising game to me. I'm very surprised I won. Like if it wasn't for the one thing that happened, I wouldn't have won this game. Like it's yeah. And they're running Stone Age. Ah! If it wasn't for this one thing, we would have lost. Now, I do go for Gunshot because I don't actually know what does more damage, but definitely Brian. Definitely Brian. And you can see as the timer ticks down there, we will be able to win. Because Acid Spray doesn't do that much damage, and Dragon Claw will not KO, but the timer is gone. So we won that battle. So sorry to that trainer, they would have definitely been able to win. Cool Pokemon to the lead, Salazzle. Now this Pokemon, we hard wall with Quagsire. We hard wall with Quagsire, so this is fun, and we go for the Aqua Tail, they swap out into Vigoroth. So I actually, this was actually a team that, um, Jonkus, J I think I, that's how I'm calling it, a YouTuber I watch, uh, you might not know, uh, and he was running, <clears throat> yeah, he was running this team, but instead of Vigoroth, he was actually running Quagsire, Shadow Quagsire, and he's got such a cool IV one. Yeah, anyway, Body Slam, that's fine, we, we completely sort of wore this, and I do go for the, I want to go for the Gunk Shot, because this will definitely KO and they've got no shields at, or no sludge wave I'm not running going shot anymore change it to sludge wave it's just more energy efficient that takes them out and they're bringing back the salazzle but yeah we hard wall them here too but I'm just gonna shield this just in case it was the dragon pulse but it wasn't that's fine we can just I over farm just a bit because <clears throat> I can and dragon claw will take out one from like full health and they've got a bomber snow in the back yeah this is the team. I overform a bit, but that was not on purpose. I was actually scared that I'm out of doubt there, but that's fine. And it was on a CMP top. This is incredible because Weatherball takes us out, but now they don't have as much energy to throw at us. Because now they can just, I can just shield this Weatherball and we can just go for the Brine. I think I could have actually farmed down, but I go for the Brine because I can, and that's bye bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, so I'm using Mega Charizard X in this picture. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.